Dawa, a hot drink made from locally sourced honey, ginger and lemon is increasingly becoming a popular drink in Kenya's urban centers. Apart from Dawa, honey is used in so many ways in daily life. I drink Dawa every morning and evening before I go to bed. It's healthy and it calms me at the end of the day. What products can a farmer in dry areas easily produce from few resources that are non-perishable and have a steady cash value? Farmers are now turning to commercial beekeeping to help improve their family incomes. Honey is the most popular natural sweetener in the world. Due to its diverse use, the demand for honey in Kenya is so huge that supply can barely cope with demand with a huge amount of honey coming from Tanzania. Beekeeping in Kenya is mostly practiced in the arid and semi-arid lands and has largely contributed to increasing farmer incomes. We all want to be in the the good thing about beekeeping is that it is not comparable to any other agribusiness. Beekeeping requires a small space and a good apiary management. Beekeeping is less stressful and it requires minimal rainfall to enable trees to flower where bees will collect nectar to process more honey. Beekeeping is good especially here in Mwingi, where nothing hardly grows in the dry land. But bees prosper and from the sales of the honey, we are able to buy foodstuff, pay school fees, among other projects. Poverty and insecurity has defined the livelihoods of people in Ukembani for a long time. They depend mainly on agro-based crop production. However, Due to frequent and prolonged droughts, crop production has been very low, leaving beekeeping as a viable option for small older farmers, as it is less dependent on climatic variations and is not resource intensive. Before, I used to plant maize, but they were not performing well due to the drought, but the returns from the beekeeping are good compared to the maize farm. Even though honey production is an economic activity with the potential to improve household livelihoods, it is still challenged by several constraints. Farmers face challenges when they use traditional beehives like during rainy season. Water from the rain penetrates the hives, thus affecting the quality of honey. Wild animals also interfere with hives, thus many farmers opt to harvest the honey before it matures. Some farmers also have the tendency of mixing honey, bananas, cocoa and sugar to which lowers the grade. After receiving the honey, we check the quality with a tester and if it's poor, it's rejected, thus the farmer ends up incurring losses like that of transportation. One of the biggest threats facing honey production today is the use of pesticides, which not only affects the quality of honey, but also threatens the bee population. Many farmers also lack modern hives and equipment required for beekeeping, which tends to reduce the production of honey and in other cases contributes to the contamination of the honey. Beekeepers working individually tend to receive low payment for their products because of low quality, insufficient production and market information, high cost of collection by buyers, among other reasons. They are further constrained in how much they can earn by lack of modern hives and equipment to enable harvesting and processing of good quality products, and they are also constrained by poor linkages with other producers and potential buyers.
When farmers work together in groups, they have a strong bargaining power when marketing their honey products and in turn receive better returns for their produce. This is in addition to penetrating wider markets and being offered contracts by major buyers. Farmer groups can help farmers in improving productivity and marketing by facilitating farmers to access modern hives and other equipment and organizing training for farmers in honey production and value addition. In marketing, the group is involved in value addition, bulking and collective selling of honey. In groups, Farmers are assured of a stable market, higher prices, access to inputs like equipment and finance. Tukiambia kitu kitu ana mathina. Mathina amwe megi ma okiwito kwa wanai. Na tho yana ma mindo people. Na pia okiwito when we started the project, we faced challenges like selling our honey which was normally bought by middlemen. Middlemen bought our honey at a very low price. We came together and formed a group to sell our honey collectively to access good markets. Back in 1999 is when we formed a central group to enable us market our honey. We continued coming together to form other smaller groups scattered across which then come together to form an umbrella body, a CBO which brings all these groups together to sell collectively and control the quality of our honey. A good example of organized groups is Mwingi Beekeepers Cooperative based in Mwingi Town. The cooperative supports production by facilitating farmers to access modern equipment such as Langstroth hives, queen extruders, harvesting equipment, among others. The cooperative also adds value by processing and packaging before selling on behalf of its members. The cooperative has established a honey market where beekeepers bring their products and are certain of a market. When significant volumes of good quality honey and bee wax are available in one place, traders will be interested to travel to remote areas being certain of the volume and quality they will be able to collect. The cooperative was started in July 2015 to assist farmers produce, process and sell their honey. Already in our cooperative, we have 775 male members, while the women are 326. After forming the cooperative, we included a registration fee and shares. For the registration, for you to be a member, you have to pay 500 shillings. For the shares, for you to get dividends, one shares goes for 200 Kenya shillings, with the minimum shares at 25 shares. So, for you to be a full member, you should have paid 500 shillings for registration and a minimum of 25 shares, which comes to a total of 5,500 shillings. We don't have any other requirements, and all you have to do is to bring your produce here. 5,500. You will be the 5,500 so far to any other amendment. You will be the way cooperator model you. What you need to do, Lord, well, quick and I have 86 beehives, and the ones which have bees are 76, with 10 hives without bees. After harvesting my honey, I take the frames to a processing machine, then after processing, I take the final product to Mwingi Marketplace. Go to a market, market, market place. 
Mwingi Beekeepers and Food Crops Cooperative Society Limited organizes training for farmers on how to produce better quality honey with the output being market access and in so doing, promote commercial activities and technological change in beekeeping. Netu yisite kwethi ana training ya wakulima maitu. Ila ambapo, tuma training ya unulama ili toke dhoki, unulama ili kuhumendini katika bucket. Okuka baawithi ya wei no otondumata wei mwatoni. Mula wei ya wili. We have trainings for our farmers. We train them on how to harvest honey, how to maintain it in a container to ensure it maintains its quality. From the trainings we have given our farmers, this has helped farmers to have good quality honey without impurities. The improved quality has seen increased income from the honey. The project has transformed their lives and increased incomes. We appreciate the farmers for implementing what they have been trained. Ni mumi te kuma nzi ya matuwa yulu. Na pia ya toke liya kuma nzi na ya totuwa yulu. Kwa na naki wango fulani. Na nituma appreciate ya muno. Unduwa kwa ate ya meyao. Na kisomu gila maa kwa mitizu. So, what have we learned? By farmers joining hands together, they will be able to sell their honey together, thus enhance honey market competitiveness, easily access training as a group on quality production and value addition, which can help farmers earn that much needed extra income. The added income ensures that the fair prices provide honey producers with the incentives to enhance quality production.